Hi, my name is Jonas and I'm a software engineer on the debugging team at Apple. Today, I want to talk about adding support for new scripting languages to LLDB. Scriptability is one of the features that makes LLDB so powerful. Since its inception, it has played a central role in LLDB's design. Similar to how LLVM is a collection of reusable libraries, LDB is really a debugger library, and a library that comes with a stable C++ interface. This interface is called the Scripting Bridge, or SB, API. It exposes everything you might need to implement a debugger. For example, the command line driver is implemented using the SB API, and IDEs such as Xcode and Visual Studio Code use it to talk to LLDB. Python is LDB's main scripting language. There are two ways to script the debugger. One option is to use LDB from Python to drive a non-interactive debug session. This allows you to leverage all of LDB's functionality to write custom, standalone debugging tools. A lot of tooling from binary instrumentation, automated bug triage to reverse engineering is built on top of LDB's Python API. The alternative is to use Python from within LLDB to process data or even extend its functionality through custom commands and formatters. Both approaches give you full access to the debugger thanks to the powerful SB API. For many years, Python was the one and only supported scripting language, and it has served us very well. So then why am I talking about adding another scripting language? Well, the answer is that LDB was designed to support more than just one language, and I wanted to put that hypothesis to the test. For my new scripting language, I wanted something small and easy to embed. This made Lua the obvious candidate. And if there's anything I learned from Python, it's that you really want a scripting language that's incompatible between major versions. Adding support for a new scripting language starts by implementing the corresponding script interpreter plugin. This plugin powers commands such as script and command script import. Its main functionality consists of running one or more lines of code and importing modules. LDB's Lua plugin manages the Lua runtime and acts as the intermediary between it and the rest of LLDB. Implementing just the plugin is not enough. Although we can now run Lua code from within the debugger, we can't yet script LDB because we don't have access to the scripting bridge API. To expose LDB's C++ API to Python, we use Swig, the simplified wrapper and interface generator. It automatically generates glue code between languages, which is a lot less work than writing the bindings yourself. Swig supports many languages, not just Python. Technically, it would be possible to generate bindings for any of the languages listed here. Although, this requires a bit of configuration, which comes with an extra maintenance burden on the project. Although Swig is not strictly necessary to implement a new scripting language, it made adding Lua support a lot easier. For Lua, we only focused on making the bindings available from within LDB. This is done by linking against the bindings generated by Swig and registering them with the Lua runtime in the plugin. So unlike Python, you cannot use LDB from a standalone Lua script. With that, we have access to the SB API, just like when using Python. Lua support in LDB is more than hypothetical or just a prototype. Everything is upstream and available in the latest release. There are some features that are not yet available from Lua though. Callbacks from LDB into the scripting runtime are not yet implemented. So none of LDB's extension points can be implemented in Lua. This means you can't write breakpoint or watchpoint callbacks or define type summaries, etc. in Lua. Neither of those are due to technical limitations. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Supporting these might be a fun project if you are looking for a new way to contribute to LLDB. In conclusion, adding support for Lua validates that LDB's design allows for multiple scripting languages. The SB API serves as a strong foundation and Swig makes it possible to easily generate the language bindings. Thank you.